Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, and just wanted to let you know of a little, uh, what's been going on in the past little bit. So, my computer died, and I had to wait to get a new one, and that took a while, uh, but I have the new computer, it is up and running, and I have decided to, of course, go back into the, the realm of Skyrim. Now, I play Skyrim probably once a year. I get a kick where I'm just like, ah, I want to go to the snow. Because I don't actually want to go outside in the snow, so I just want to go to the snow. So this time I decided to do something a little different. Because I noticed that on Steam, I had been playing with mods for so long that it never recorded anything I did. I think I had one achievement when I started this. Uh, so for instance, I it never had given me credit as me leaving the cave. Because of course, I left the cave while I had the mods running. Uh, which is weird. So after watching a whole bunch of lore videos, I decided uh, that I was going to play an Argonian. Uh, sat through the, the intro because, once again, normally I had uh, played the Live Another Life mod which just skips the tutorial altogether or gives you the option to and here we are now i also updated to the anniversary edition which means that all of the cool bells and whistles were now going and here are it is relative so one of the rift and dock workers Agonian. Captain, what are we going to be doing? What should we do? Well, the He's first thing that we're going to do is go all the way through this Forget intro this. again, which he is a little bit annoying and weird that there isn't like, some kind of a Captain. skip here, I'm sorry. especially considering we're we'll not going sure to be able to play survival mode, the Captain prisoner. one of the new modes, until we get out of here. But, so we're going to play through the tutorial. Uh, I am going to choose the Stormcloaks, because normally I kind of ignore both sides and just go about my dragonborn business but this time i decided to actually go with the storm cloaks and follow the story and see where it goes the reason for this is i've been watching a whole bunch of lore videos about the what the empire is going through in the time that this game is going on and i'm not really pro empire like i it's always the thing where it's like the 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 person like running the, the thing who made it. isn't always that thing was a dragon. the person that no I doubt. want. Just so like I, I dislike the Empire, the but I love General Tullius. The I don't really times. like uh, Ulfric, but Come here. Let me see I like get those the, bindings off. the Nords. I want Skyrim to be independent because I think a coalition of independent nations go. will be stronger well than take on your one weak empire that's just going to get steamrolled when the high elves show up. So, going with storm storm cloaks. Uh, and because right. the game won't let me use mods, it means that the unofficial Skyrim patch, which patches a bunch of exploits, those exploits are in the game again. So, I decided to start using them. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. So, yeah. of course, uh, when uh, we got to the bear, right I, uh, instead of just uh, sneaking nice. around, so I stabbed watch where you step. Roloff or whatever his name is, or and uh, got my sneak up relatively high. What are you doing? To help me kind of sneak hey, through some of the rest careful. of the game. Now, once you leave the tutorial, that's when survival mode can be kicked in. And you can turn it on and off. And I wish there was a little more granular of, of rules that you could go with. Because I, mean, I want to I uh, talk to you about what, it, what happens. So there are three main things that happen and it's uh, hunger, fatigue, and cold. So hunger is all the food that's in Skyrim where you're allowed to make food and do whatever and get the well-fed bonus. 
uh, that actually has a thing now. You get hungry and your stamina bar decreases and it visually shows up on screen. So you eat the food, your stamina bar goes back to full and then you're good. If you eat raw meat, you have a chance of getting food poisoning. Uh, I chose uh, an Argonian, so we don't have to worry about that. But it also means that uh, all of the food has a purpose. So you learn to ration it more and you learn what makes good food and what doesn't. Uh, fatigue. Fatigue means the longer between sessions when you sleep, the smaller your magic gets. So basically the, your bar is full and if you go start going more time, your magic is gonna go down and down and down and down. The third thing, cold, is when you are start freezing it lowers your health and these things all play off of each other so for instance for the cold skyrim has three different uh not quite biomes but there's a warm area there's a cold area and there are freezing areas and every place that you go represents one of those now obviously the places where there's uh, lush green like if you go to the kind of the farming areas by riven and it's protected by mountains and sheltered that's a warm area but if you go up into the north uh, it becomes freezing and it doesn't last very long. There's now a stat on all of your armor and clothing that is a warmth stat. Normally it won't affect much, but when you combine all of these, suddenly when you are sent into a place, for instance, like you are joining the Stormcloaks, and you get sent up to an island in the middle of the frozen water in a freezing location, Warmth becomes very, very, very important. Now, how do you combat that? You put on warm clothes, you put on your fur cloaks and whatnot, and you just hope for the best. You also plan your route well. You also make hot food. Now, hot food uh, uses fire salts and basically turns a normal dog bark bark basically turns a normal uh, piece of food into food that will give you hunger back, that may increase your stamina, but will also recover your warmth. Think of it like having uh, a big bowl of hot chili on a cold day. That's how it works up here. Um, those are the three things that work in conjunction. So the hunger, the fatigue, and the cold. Now, when you join the Stormcloaks, you are sent up into the north on a frozen island to fight an ice wraith and it's so they cast freezing spells at you while you're already freezing and it's a recipe for disaster and it was a had i not discovered a crashed ship along the way that was being robbed by bandits i never would have survived that far There was another part where coming back from that journey, I reloaded the game probably, I don't know, like 20 or 30 times. Basically, I was almost dead and I hit a quick save. And I'm just running, I'm just trying to make it inside somewhere to warm up. But the problem is, is that one of the things I was using was a potion to give me more health. So a potion to fortify health, I think it is. So it was giving me more health, but as soon as it wore off, it doesn't wear off from the top, it wears off from the bottom. So if you have a bonus 20 hit points and you have 19 hit points and that potion wears off, you die. If you drink a new potion, it takes off the old potion and then puts the new one on and you die. So I was running into problem after problem after problem and finally figured it out because I didn't want to use console commands. Um, I was trying to do things somewhat legitimately. Um, and then did that, everything was fine. I'm actually having a blast because it makes every encounter 
like really, really tense. Because also on top of everything else going on, your health does not come back right. You have reduced carrying weight, and you only level up when you sleep. So all of these are like, okay, this is this is going fine, great. The reason my whole thing stopped is because it's disabled fast travel. Now, for any of you who have played Skyrim, you know that fast traveling is the thing that you do to bop around the map very, very quickly. And the game is designed with that in mind, so that if you have visited a place, you can easily return to a place, say, your home or homes. Because at this point, at the end of, of, of this run, when I am now switching it back to normal mode, I'm still going to do all of the fun stuff that I've been doing, but the mode that killed it is disabling fast travel. And it basically means that if you want to go to a house that's not near a location, you have to walk there and then, or ride there and then walk back. Or, heaven forbid, you have to go someplace like Dawnstar where it's like, okay, great, hop on the cart, go up to Dawnstar, and then there's no cart back. So now we're stuck in a freezing place and we don't have a way to get back. So we have to farm the area, build up our supplies, and then plan our trip back to Whiterun. Now, this was all very cool and very immersive. Why am I stopping playing this? It's because I now have multiple houses and I'm getting to the point in the game where I really need to be able to move around efficiently and quickly in order for this game to remain fun for me. So, a few of the other things that uh, this does is it also makes it so that the arrows are heavier. Uh, Lockpicks actually have a weight, granted it is, it is 0 0.1 or 0 0.1. Um, there are also diseases and afflictions that you can get along the way. Um, and a bunch of things are less effective. Racial passives also work slightly different, but it's it was an interesting endeavor to try and play like this. And I recommend that if you if you do have uh, a chance where you want to you you want to replay some of Skyrim, just load up an old save and it's it's a setting in the menu and you can turn it on. And give it a shot for a little bit. Uh, like I said, if I could, if I could get fast traveling back, I would still play this because I think the the hunger, the fatigue, and the cold are super cool ways to make this game a little more treacherous and make you think a little bit more as you progress through. Uh, of course, uh, I decided halfway through to. Uh, sit there and do the uh, fortify restoration glitch uh, did that that worked just fine got that I did a handful of other things that just made this easier I guess they're called exploits instead of glitches but um, but basically since I can't have the patch to fix the exploits then I see I think that I should be able to use the exploits in getting my achievements Granted, I'm pretty sure I could just push a button somehow and make all the achievements pop, but that's not any fun. So uh, I'm going to keep on playing, but uh, like I said, uh, my uh, my survival time is done. Um, and I best. hope you have enjoyed this video. Father? I'd like to thank you very much Mr. for watching, and as always, there a coin? play on. Really? Do you do you have a place I could live? Oh, wow. Are you... are you sure? You really wouldn't mind? Yay! Thanks, Mr. Um, Papa. I promise I'll be the best daughter ever.